Breaking news, Neo's robo-taxi is ahead of Tesla. And also in this video, we're going to talk about some leaked conversation. Very important from very top management that's going to really impact sales in the future price adjustment all right there's this video going viral here in china it's neo no, unmanned nobody's in the car and it's driving by itself and it goes to a swap station and swaps into a fully charged battery and drives out by itself no human intervention at all what this proves is that in the future when there's robo taxis replenishing the charge is a very important aspect of course now, naysayers will say, hey, Tesla's ahead in the robo-taxi game. They're not. At the end of the day, when those robo-taxis run out of charge, you still got to get somebody to plug the charger in. What, you're going to get a fleet of people to get them to just charge the cars? That's still human intervention. That's still manned. In that aspect, Neil is way ahead of Tesla. And herein lies the very interesting question. Is robotaxi even possible with Tesla? Because for their cars, you would have to get people to plug the charger in. And even if they develop uh, the robotic arm charger, that's going to be very difficult to implement. And also, they have to retrofit existing superchargers to be able to do that. Whereas right now, Neo has 2,000 swap stations um, and about 80 to 90 percent of those are gen 2 and above swap stations and that means that those stations are all capable of swapping unmanned nobody's inside uh, n no intervention at all and so you actually have a situation where the owner of their car in the future could just you know sleep at home and have their car go work as a robo taxi and then if they're out of charge you don't even have to worry about it just let it go swap it's going to go swap by itself and come uh do the do all the robo taxi stuff you don't have to do any sort of human intervention whereas with a tesla robo taxi you would have to worry about oh oh my god it doesn't it, it's going to run out of charge maybe it can't go that far uh, i has to drive back home and i have to go plug it in all that kind of stuff so in terms of infrastructure alone uh, that is uh, usable for robo taxi fleet neo is ahead all right and i'm sure you guys already know that you know in the us there's uh, waymo and those guys doing robo taxis and here in china there's also robo taxis with um, like byd they have some of their cars doing robo taxi uh, baidu as well um, so there's lots of that going around and of course it makes sense for Neo to go down that route and this is one of the advantages of having LiDAR in the car and also for Gen 3 swap stations remember that swap station also has LiDAR sensor for the station so they're able to actually know if there's any obstacles or anything around the car to make sure that uh, everything's lined up and they're able to swap without any human intervention which is incredible in my opinion and clearly you can tell this is a this is just next level stuff right no human intervention it's just much better than tesla so you can tell why a lot of other companies uh chang'an Jili, have signed a deal to you know essentially go after this tech because this this tech is just amazing and also the other guys mercedes porsche all these other guys are all interested why because you know, you show this to them, this is next level stuff. Now, a lot of people have been asking how how much money can you earn from this? And, and I, I want to preface this by saying I'm not paid by Neo. In my next, next video, I'll make a worst case scenario for Neo stock video to, to actually highlight some of the bad things that uh, could possibly happen very soon just to prove that I'm not paid by Neil okay but some of you guys have asked uh, what does Neil get out of these deals well the interesting thing is they haven't released any numbers they haven't really said how they're going to do these uh, swap deals in terms of numbers uh, etc but they're going to jointly build infrastructure based on Neil's existing battery swap patents and be able to essentially provide battery swaps for all these other cars and that just means that uh, a new is going to be able to get money from these swap stations deployment 
wise all right they build a swap station they're gonna have to pay neo a little bit of money to use their patents or straight out buy the different uh swapping parts from neo and b you know in the future when they're swapping revenue of course neo's going to get a slice of that revenue so one thing to remember is neo is already the biggest auto company uh, let me rephrase that it is already the auto company with the most number of chargers all right we're not comparing against charging companies because some of them have like more chargers than neo but in terms of auto company wise neo is the one with the most amount of chargers out there so already in the charging front neo's are already ahead of the peers but also swap station is not included in this metric so you can imagine how in the future neo is going to be a energy behemoth not only charging but also swapping and 80% uh, of the revenue from the charging business it comes from other brands so you can tell that in the future uh, they're aiming for a scenario where a lot of the revenue from battery swap also comes from perhaps other people as well essentially a, a big foothold in both charging and swapping and become the dominant player in both it's very hard to stick a number to how much this is going to bring in for neo but just remember the phrase blue sky is coming all right so next up we're talking about the leaked conversation apparently uh, dr shin fei which is the head of neo's power swap and it, he was present at all the co-op battery swap signings uh, deal signings and he had this conversation with somebody else and they asked him if there's possibility for the adjustments in battery price and also bass pricing so rental for the battery pricing and he said yes but he did not specify which direction so which is very interesting that opens us up to some potential speculation and the special speculation in my opinion is pointed more towards a price decrease because uh I think in my opinion the battery cost has always been quite expensive and bass payments in my opinion is also quite expensive in my personal opinion all right 980 per month that's what i'm paying plus 80 insurance uh, fee per month so that comes out to 1060 per month just for renting the battery and renting the battery right now here in china and just to clarify, uh, bass in China is very different than bass in Europe. Bass in Europe, it's connected with battery swap. You have to go with bass to be able to do battery swap. Here in China, bass is just renting the battery. It has nothing to do with battery swap. They're completely separate things. So uh, a lot of people have just basically opted to not go for bass uh, here in China because they feel like it's not worth it. And even the sales reps here in China, they push people to not go for bass because uh, due to various reasons, because if you try to sell it on the secondhand market, it's going to be very difficult to sell the car. So my thinking is the prices are probably gonna be adjusted downwards. Uh, monthly payments probably lowered. That's gonna make the cars much more affordable. And also along with that, battery fee uh, the the price of the battery will also per perhaps be decreased as well so it's going to be cheaper more accessible the price of the car will remain the same but the battery changed uh, this is another way to do a price cut intelligently all right because uh neil has always said we're not going to do price cuts last time what they did was they got rid of free battery swap and said that hey you know if you want the free battery swap you can add that amount of money and it's still is the original price from before now they can uh, say that, hey the battery got cheaper or the bass fee is cheaper but the car the price of the car is still the same then uh, it's another very smart way of cutting prices and I think we all know the sales have been not that encouraging so it would be a very smart move for Neo to lower the price of bass that's something I really look forward to by doing so that's going to also spur up some more demand for Neo, I think and get more people to buy their cars how much of a price decrease I don't know I'm not too sure my guess would be like maybe a 20 to 30 percent price decrease on the battery cost and also the bass cost that would be pretty sweet in my personal opinion so maybe lower it from 980 per month to maybe like 700 
that would be pretty pretty good that would be pretty good not too much but decent enough what do you guys think about all this and also the robo taxi let me know in the comments down below as always stay safe stay healthy peace out